years and years of being over rape and thinking about rape every day of my life since I was five years old and getting sick from rape. Start over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am over years and years of being over rape and thinking about rape every day of my life since I was five years old and getting sick from rape and depressed from rape and enraged by rape and reading and reading my insanely crowded inbox of rape horror stories every hour of every single day I am over being polite about rape it's been too long now we have been too understanding I am over the silence about the generations of rape and incest here in New Mexico. We need to end rape in every school, park, radio, bus, TV station, household, office, factory, refugee camp, military base, back room, nightclub, alleyway. We need people to truly try and imagine once and for all what it feels like to have your body invaded, your mind splintered, your soul shattered. We need you to let our rage and our compassion connect us together so we can change the paradigm of global rape. There are approximately one billion women on the planet who have been violated. One billion women. The time is now. One billion women are rising today to end rape. Because we are over it. Thank you. Kate Cleaver, if you're in their audience, could you come to the front, please, to, to the stand here? And before we go into the flash mob, Eve wrote a piece specifically for this day called Rising. And we have the um, IAIA alum, poet and activist, Sarah Marie Ortiz, who's going to do the reading. And after that, be ready to dance. I dedicate this reading to my grandmothers, my mothers, my aunts, to all my teachers, to my daughter, and to the powerful, beautiful women of New Mexico. This could have been anywhere and was Mexico City. Manila, Mumbai, Albuquerque, Manhattan, nighttime men waiting like wolves, drooling for prey behind that single dimly painted door, paying nothing, a couple of dollars or euros, rupees or pesos, to have her enter her, eat her, devour her, and throw away her bones. This could have been anywhere and was a Buddhist nun on a bus trying to stay dry for the night, a woman leader speaking out against the repressive government, a young woman traveling with her boyfriend. One lost her voice, the other her following, the last one her life. This could have been anywhere and was Pink wooden crosses, a stack of stones, red wilting carnations, empty chairs in a square, ribbons flying in a sultry wind. I ask Anna, Nigat, Kamla, Monique, Tanisha, Emily, why? Why? Por qué eran mujeres? Parce que li te defan. Because they were women. Because they were women. This could have been anywhere and was where she got fired for being too beautiful, fine for drinking after she was raped, a serious offer to marry her rapist, 
got told it was legitimate but not forcible. This could have been anywhere. They do such a thing when the girls go for firewood. Step into a lonely man's car, drink a little too much at the college party, wake up with their uncle's fingers inside, run from the screaming machete and guns, be taken at sunrise, get a bullet in the brain for learning the alphabet, be stoned for falling in love, be burned for seeing the future. I am done cataloging the horrors Data porn. Two million women raped and tortured. One out of three women. A woman raped every minute, every second. One out of two. One out of five. The same. One, one, one. I am done counting and recounting. It's time to tell a new story. Our story. It needs to be outrageous and unexpected. It needs to lose control in the middle. It needs to be sexy and in our hips and our feet. It needs to be angry and a little scary the way storms can be scary. It needs to not ask permission or get permits or set up offices or make salaries. It won't be recorded or bought or sold or counted. It just needs to happen. It is not a question of inventing but remembering. Buried under the leaves of trauma and sorrow, beneath the river of semen and squalor, vaginas and labias shredded and extracted, stolen body, minds, mind, bodies. It is not about asking now or waiting. It is about rising. Raise your arm, my sister, my brother. Raise your one billion, your one heart. You're one of us. I used to be afraid of love. It hurt too much. What never happened, what got ripped away, the rape, the wound, and love, I thought, was salt. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Step into the fire. Raise your arm. Raise your one billion. One. One. One, rising, rising, rising.